Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking for someone special. It's my favorite bird, scientific name Columba Oenus, regular name Stock Dove. Stock Dove is a demure little pigeon dove, member of the Columbid family and I just love them. I, I don't know how else to explain it. They just look sweet. They've got little cheeks. They're very subtle. And I have heard that there are some in these woods. These woods are near my home, so I'm not gonna tell you which one they are. Don't stalk me. We've got about three hours in which to find stock doves. So without further ado, let's get walking around the woods. Cool tunnel. Ooh, look at these stones. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can't go through the tunnel, it's like so wet. Can you see that? It's, um... Oh yeah, you can see it's totally soaked. It's so wet. There are many, many song thrushes around. You hear that wind? Beep, 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 beep. That's a song thrush. They sound, they sound lovely. They're very loud. It's one of the ways you can tell them. Loud, beeping, cheeping. Stock doves are named because stock used to mean a tree stump and that's where stock doves nest and live. They like to build their nests in the holes of trees. And they're coveted nest spots. They'll fight corvids over them. They're usually high up, which makes them hard to see as well, especially on a sunny day like today. And they're nearly silent, which does not help. Magpie's playing over there. Look, this, this is wild garlic. All of this stuff it stinks of of garlic smell. Um, you can actually harvest it and make food out of it. I wouldn't recommend harvesting this stuff here because it's a popular place for people to walk their dogs. The other things here are all these purple flowers. I thought they were grape hyacinths, but they're they're not. <laughs> they are. <clears throat> Whatever these are is what they are which I don't know what that is. So we're simply going to have to traverse this beautiful landscape until we find stock doves. Guess how lucky we are today. Guess how lucky. In these tall trees, not Yes, in this one, this one with the very straight trunk, very tall, going up all the way, up in those branches is a stock dove. And I have been walking backwards and forwards trying to get a good picture. One of the other things that makes them so hard to take pictures of is that they are much more shy than a regular pigeon, wood pigeon, feral pigeon, collared dove. They're the shyest of them all which is what makes them such a treat to see. And just looking, seeing that I'm looking from the ground, when it was so high up in the tree, it noticed me, saw my uh, camera's eye, and it watched me as I took pictures of it at the first, and then it flew over to another tree and I followed. It's up there now still, just sitting calmly, but it's even higher than when I saw it, so taking pictures has proven to be it's proven to be quite the task trying to get a picture of her. I'm gonna leave her be now. I think I've taken as all the pictures that I can take. But we've seen her, the stock dove. We've seen the stock dove. Yes, let's go this way. We can get some nice, 
Yeah, sounds of the song thrush. Let's see what other birds we can find. Now that we've tick stocked up off our, off our list. I can't believe I'm saying that. Oh, there's a big old tree here, let's check it out. It's big lumpy roots. And let me tell you, if I had the budget, the equipment, the crew, you need so much stuff to do nature documentaries. But if I could, mine would be The Secret Life of the Stock Dove, and it would just follow, maybe without even words. It would simply talk. I just said even without words. And I, it would be about the stock dove and just lots of clips, living a quiet, peaceful life in the woods, and then trying to raise some chicks and maybe even fighting over a nest hole, and then the fight to survive. Oh, and then the beautiful baby fledging the nest. That would be my documentary. Maybe little cameos of other birds, but it would be a stock dove only 20 minute type video. That's what I would do if I had the budget. Technically I have a Patreon, but I feel so embarrassed plugging it because I'm not even monetized yet. <laughs> Centipede. I'm gonna say I like bugs in theory, but not so much in practice. I, I love to appreciate bugs. Oh God, it's pure mud here. Look at this. It's never not muddy in the art. Oh God. Anyway, as I was saying, big bug appreciator, but not if they're anywhere near me. I am scared of bugs. I feel really bad about it because I do like bugs. I find them interesting. There's so many kinds of bugs. Uh, probably my favorite kind of insect, bees. I mean, lots of people's favorite, but solitary bees. They're very unusual to see. I saw one, it was um, sort of reddish and orange and sort of arrow shaped stripes going down its butt. I could definitely draw a picture of it. I will find you, if I can, a picture of the bee that I saw. It was on my way to the bouldering gym, but I, I don't even forget it to this day. And it was weeks ago that I saw it. Oh, a bug, uh, not a real one. Look at this sculpture of a stag beetle. <sighs> Me and the stag beetle. rained a lot yesterday. It's still very muddy today. But it was worth it for the stuff. I just saw someone small fly fly over into this tree. Could be our first non-stock dove picture of the day. You can hear the song thrush. I still haven't been able to see him, but he's definitely in one of these few trees, probably quite high up. So it's gonna be a not great picture if we do get one, but something I keep hearing is a hoo 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 hoo. Well, not like that. It's like a pigeon coo, but it's not a wood pigeon coo and it's not a feral pigeon coo. And at first I just, I just didn't notice it. It was just a sound, you know? You hear sounds and you don't pay, pay the closest attention to them, they're just sounds. But I'm wondering, what if it's the sound of a stock dove? They do coo, just not very often. And it is breeding season, so this would be the time to hear a coo of a stock dove. But my luck, it has already stopped. But that could be a sign that we are near it and it is watching me perhaps from the top of one of the very many tall trees that surround us. <laughs> oh, a plane. Oh, a pl Let's get a quick snap of the plane. Can't tell what kind of plane that is. Uh, white on the bottom, blue on the top. Could be KLM. Love a good plane myself. 
It's like mechanical birds. No, it's not. I just like planes. I like flying. What was that? Now, something I haven't covered yet. The way to tell if you've seen a stock dove, or perhaps it's a different kind of bird, columbid. The difference between a stock dove and a wood pigeon is that wood pigeons have a white color around their neck, and stock doves don't. Uh, wood pigeons also have a yellow iris. Stock doves have a black, black eye. It can be possible to confuse young wood pigeon who don't have their color yet with stock dove, but young wood pigeon, I think, usually don't have the yellow beak. Uh, young pigeons have grey beaks, and an adult stock dove, I think, has a, a yellowish beak. The difference between a feral pigeon and a, and a stock dove is that the um, feral pigeon usually has much more markings, wing bars, stripes, colours on the tail, whereas the stock dove is quite a uniform grey. Again, the iris is a giveaway. If you get to go up close, a feral pigeon has an orangey red iris. And a stock dove, again, black. And, oh, and a collared dove, if we're going to do all of them. Collared doves are beige, not gray. And they have a collar. So, here's your mini guide to <laughs> pigeon and dove identification in the UK. Look at these. There's a lot of them. Oh, here's some younger ones. Cool. Oh, on the other side of them. Very cool. What are these white flowers? I don't know what they are either. But they're everywhere. Great look for the forest floor, eh? Oh, hold on. Just as I was talking about those little flowers, I heard a corvid, and I looked up, and it just disappeared into the hole of a tree. I, I, I watched it go in there. So I'm gonna take a few steps back, go around, and sit out with my camera and see if I can get a picture, or even a video, of him coming out of that hole. That would be great. That's the type of nest hole a stock dove would love. Saw those jackdaws jump in that nest hole. There's a pair of them scoping it out. Could be baby jackdaws in the spring, in the summer. And I saw a nuthatch. And he's running up the tree. Oh, I got loads of pictures. I even got a couple of video clips. You're gonna love him. Nuthatches are very interesting looking birds. Almost prehensile necks and a penchant for running up and down trees. Not sideways, just completely vertical. If you ever see one at the feeder, they are just as likely to feed upside down as the right way up. And they're very lovely colors too. Chestnut, stripe, white, slate gray back.
are two wood pigeons. You can see one, two there. Might come up a little, a little difficult to see on the camera. Getting video in the woods kills me. It's I'm holding my arms up and they're shaking and trying to get the video clips. With the camera, I could hold it up to my face and kind of arrest it on my face, but on video, to look through the, um, I have to look through the screen to use the video, which is surprisingly tiring on the arms. Oh, and the song thrush is making fun of me. Every time I get near, obviously, stop singing. They're pretty shy birds. It's, it's all. Don't know if you heard that, but he fell out the tree, the wood pigeon, that is. I know our pictures of the stock dove weren't amazing, but it's more than that. It means that the stock dove is here. Just the knowledge that I live so near to stock doves is worth it. Someone's built a little dome type shelter here. It's quite interesting, but if you didn't like that one, there's one over here I think you'll like. Look at this. What a fantastic little shelter. It's perfect, isn't it? What? Let's go inside. What? Check out my new home. Welcome to MTV Cribs. This is my sticks. MTV sticks. on my way home, walking along the main path, and I saw a little pigeon in the tree, so I thought, oh, why not? Stamp a picture, wood pigeon, why not? You know, I won't turn my nose up at a wood pigeon, why not? And guess who it was? Stock dove again! Oh, it's a stock dove day. That was just sitting demurely alone in the tree. Oh, can't believe my luck. Sorry, more dog walkers, but yeah, that was it. Stock dove, second stock dove sighting of the day. Completely separate to the first, completely different area. We're lucky today. It's been a great day. <laughs> well, turns out the video is far from over. Oh my goodness, that's the best stocked up sighting of the day. It turns out there's a bunch of them. I can't believe this. Two in a tree in this little suburban area on my way home. And oh, I think they were two males. They weren't getting along exactly. It was amazing to see them. So fortunate, fortuitous, so serendipity, that joy. Ah, ah. We're absolutely killing it today. We got so many stocked up photos. I've got beautiful video of them interacting, a pair of them, not an actual pair, two of them. Oh, I'm chuffed, I'm chuffed. Quick little last note, apparently stock doves may be abundant in the locations that they are able to be found. So they're not common in a lot of places and once you find them, there might be an actual little population of them around, which is what we found here. That's, we found several, we found four in total, that's huge. When I thought we'd be so lucky just to see one. One in the woods as well, to be fair, that's nothing to be sniffed at. And then these ones in the suburbs, which means that we can easily go back and see them again. Thank you again for coming with me. If you watched past the supposed end of the video before then, well done to you. You get the secret sighting, unless I cut it out. Uh, 
may not know this, but I often do more than one outro to these videos just because on my way back, we see something new as we did today. <laughs> so without further ado, actual end of the video. Thank you so much for coming with me. I hope you enjoyed Stopped Up as much as I did. Um, and I can't wait to see you again next time.